Hey everybody, what's going on? Shabby Doo here, and today I thought I'd bring you into my secret laboratory with an Icarus here. Let's talk about the chemistry bench and its comparisons to its to its lesser counterpart, the herbalist bench. So this is obviously a tier four item. So let's talk about the tech involved in making this. So that's tier one. Tier four, it's gonna be way down here. So we can see here to make this item, we need 20 steel, 30 wood, 20 electronics, 10 composites, and 10 glass. So you might look at that. That's not too bad. Yeah, to make it itself is not bad, those materials. But remember, to get composites, you must both have a material processor and an electric furnace. So let's talk about overall electronics cost to make this item. So in order to build the chemistry bench, besides the 20 electronics here, you're going to need the material processor, which is an another 60 electronics. Everything else there is pretty easy to get. And then you need the electric furnace, which is another 60 electronics, plus 80 concrete, which is a good amount of silica. So you're up to 120 for these two machines. And of course, you're going to need the fabricator, which is another 30 electronics and 30 concrete. So 110 concrete all day and 150 electronics to then be able to make your chemistry bench. But don't forget to power your electric furnace you're going to need a generator at minimum, right? So there's another 12 electronics there. So all day, you're looking at, what, 162 electronics, and then the extra 20 so you can make the chemistry bench. So you can effectively say that this bench will cost you, what, 182 electronics. Times that by three, that's how much copper bars you're going to need, and that's how much gold bars you're going to need, 183, so, or 182. So that's the material cost, quite expensive, obviously. So at the end of the day, is this worth, say, roughly 200 electronics? You know, that's 300 copper bars, that's 200 gold ingots. You know, you're talking, oh, and don't forget your electricity tool. Eight more gold bars there. But yeah, so is it worth it? Well, let's find out, right? So we've got our, we got our chemistry bench here. First, let's come down to its lesser part, the, the herbalist bench. Now let's try and finish this before the storm hits completely. So in here, let's look at three recipes that are pretty easy to make in pretty early game. So let me put my canteen in here. And let's make bread. Flatbread dough. Real early game stuff. Craft it. Ten seconds. I'm not going to go by how long it actually takes. We're going to go by the time it says it takes. So that way there's no perks involved. So that's a ten second craft for bread. I'm up here. Make the same thing. Put my canteen in here. Make bread, two seconds. So that is five times faster for bread. Let's look back down here. Let's make a blood thinning tonic. All the tonics will have the same craft times. So let's make one of these here, craft it. 40 seconds in the herbalist bench, up here. 10 seconds, so that's four times faster. So, so far we're averaging four and a half times faster for the chemistry bench, right? That's done. That's still going. Let's look at a health regenerative paste. Real simple stuff. Actually, yeah, we'll do the health buff paste because this is the more common one, right? Plus 10% max HP. So let's just use this one as a base here. Craft it. 40 seconds for that. You know what? We'll craft them all, right? I got plenty of stuff. 40 seconds, 40 seconds, and the paste. 40 seconds. All the pastes are the same, right? So let's go 10 seconds. 10 seconds. 10 seconds so there you go so that's four times faster so we're averaging a little under four and a half times faster so we can effectively say just by using a couple little outliers there that the overall speed increase is roughly 4.2 times faster than the herbalist bench but at the end of the day is that worth it what what do you need out of these benches that you need to craft so many products for that fast like antibiotics do you really need to crank out a hundred of these at 10 seconds a pop rather than a couple at 40 seconds? And by the time you're using a chemistry bench, shouldn't you already have yourself at least a dehumidifier, if not an electric dehumidifier by that point? So you really shouldn't be worrying about pneumonia. So all those new crafts that you wanted to speed up, you should really be past all those ailments. And if you're not, I mean, you probably already have some tonics laying around from the early game days anyway. So you're not really you know, speeding anything up by going out of your way to build this. It's just kind of, at the end of the day, it's a nice to have when you're super late game, you have all these materials that you don't know what to do with and you're just kind of playing around and having fun. 
that's what it's for, right? Like, that's a great time. Uh, but realistically speaking, mission-wise, uh, unless the mission actually requires you to build this, it's useless, right? Like, uh, oh, and, and it also has a couple other recipes, too, mind you. It's got the, uh, you know, you got the pills in here as well, of course. Uh, but you got beer and wine, and that's also, like, five times faster. That was two seconds for a wine in there. And in here, oh, I don't have a beer ready. I need a beer bottle and wheat. Here, we'll, we'll show you this. It's the same thing. So let me consume that. Got the beer bottle. Oops. Got the wheat. Got the yeast. So two seconds over there and over here. Ten seconds. So another five times. Or So that's the verdict there. Roughly four to times, four to five times faster to be using the chemistry bench. But your actual costs for output are exponentially higher than this herbalist bench. Tier one, if I remember, it's that old. Like you know, I barely use it myself. Um, <laughs> I mean, not not tier one, tier two, because you need to have the crafting bench for it. So it, it's such an early game item that you're gonna have this for a long, long time. See, here we go, and th that's the costs compared to almost 200 electronics in order to even start building your chemistry bench. Insane. It's it's literally insane. There's really no reason for it so personally unless you're just having fun having a good old time and enjoying life at the very end game in an outpost yeah then you use this but if you're not don't it's no yeah this is never worth it like there's no situation where i'm like damn i wish i had a chemistry bench right about now but can that be said the same for an electric carpentry bench an electric masonry bench or the electric composter, or maybe even the metal oxide dissolver. Well, we're gonna we're gonna dive into all of those. So make sure you hit that subscribe button down below if you want to see the comparisons for those, so you can get back into that sweet sweet shabby content. And do hit that like button as well if you did like this episode. And as always, hit hit that comment as well. Leave me leave me a note. Let me know what you think of this. What your personal opinion is of the chemistry bench? There's no new recipes. It's all the same stuff. Here, look. Here's a blood thinning pill. Right now that this is crafted. Blood thinning pill. 10 seconds. This is like the, the next highest thing up that you can do. Let me uh, grab this here. Grab all these and show you. It's all, it's over here in the kitchen bench for these pills. And 40 seconds. So again, no time. It's the same thing. Four times faster for those medicines. All the medicines four times faster. I just want to show you all the highest tiers of it. That's as high as tier as medicine goes at the moment. There is no tier four medicinal crafts being done here. Everything can be done at other benches. I'll bet four to five times slower. But all right, guys, that's my take on the chemistry bench. Final thoughts? Awful. Useless until they start adding new content into the game. This is just a nice little fluffy spot holder that no one should really touch unless you're going for immersion. But all right, guys, as usual, this has been Shabby Doo, and hope the rest of your day is not too shabby.